ladies and gentlemen, Richard Burton. You're welcome. Um, let's talk about that background of yours because it does interest me. Um, I mean, the, the, the path you've, you've come has been quite extraordinary. As I said in the introduction, you'd think that some novelist had, had written it. And if a novelist did write it, indeed, you could accuse him of over exaggeration. Because, all right, the background, humble, comparatively so. Um, what, in fact, did it give you, though, that background, Richard, do you think? I think a tremendous sense of um, strength, I suppose. Because I presume that if you survive such a background, uh, you must have come from an extraordinary uh, uh, race of people. I'm enormously proud, of course, of being Welsh. Did you ever, when you were, uh, when you start embarked on a career um, as an actor, did you ever meet any uh, problems in that um, perhaps some of your mates might have thought that they'd been mixed in with a rogan? Or so, you know what I mean? That, uh, Not quite, no. Well, that, that there's some, <laughs> well, you, well that, that there's something pansy-ish in, in acting as compared to, 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 to mining. Well, yes, you don't I... You see what I'm getting at, don't you, Richard? Yes, I do, yes. I've got the message now. <laughs> um, uh, the last thing you can say about me is that I'm a pansy. <laughs> and I'm not a sissy. But let's, let's, go, back, let's go back to where... I do apologise to the audience, of course, for being so intensely nervous, because, you know, I don't do this kind of thing very often. And Mr Parkinson, of course, has done it quite a lot. And so we have to... <laughs> don't walk to... quite a lot. <laughs> now, um, let's, let's get back to, to, uh, to, to Wales and the business of acting. Um, this extraordinary voice of yours, would you say that, in fact, it's, it's a kind of Welsh voice? Is there such a thing? Oh, yes, it's the deep, dark answer from the valleys to everybody. I can't help... <laughs> I can't help the voice. It's um, part of me, and uh, I didn't cultivate it or anything. It was given to me. And I'm very lucky to possess it, I suppose. Can we go back to, to something you mentioned earlier on, Dylan Thomas? Can we go back? To what? Was, uh, Can we go Ultimate, back? of course, a very tragic man, wasn't he? I suppose so. He sought his own death and he found it, which is not entirely tragic. Uh, he certainly uh, wrote, of course, uh, the most magical things. And he's, uh, he's alive. Yes. I mean, he's alive. Yeah. Well, but one gets a sense of waste, though, surely, when you, when you think. I mean, surely he left behind him um, stuff that will live forever, but he might have left more behind him. No, I don't think so. I think he's no. much the same as, well, Michael Ivan. You say a sense of waste, I wouldn't uh, quarrel with that. Uh, but I think he probably burned himself out. Mm. He I sort of fulfilled the notion a lot of people have about the Welsh, the Celts actually generally, about the sort of death wish that they have, the creative people. Um, do you, f first of all, accept that they have this, um, this kind of headlong rush toward, toward the edge? Yes, I think that we uh, rather love precipices. Uh, we go towards them and withdraw uh, uh, now and again, temporarily. Sometimes we go over the edge. Did you ever feel that way yourself? Have you ever felt yourself going toward the precipice and pulling sh back short of it? Well, yes, I have. Yes, I think we all do, we Celts. Um, Would you care to tell been... me how? In what circumstance? Well, there was a second or two, I think, uh, perhaps about a year ago, when... Uh, I didn't fancy much staying alive. Really? You contemplate a suicide? Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't kill myself in the ordinary sense of the word. I wouldn't take pills or drugs or anything, really, in that sense. But um, I did suddenly wake up one morning and found how splendidly rich and extraordinary the world was and that I couldn't bear its richness and its beauty. And in order to obviate uh, the idea of the richness and extraordinary beauty of the world, I thought it's best to leave it. <laughs>